Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to be putting these new products to the test. I forgot I ordered this actually, I've been so busy lately. I got the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation and I also tested out the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I typically am not a huge primer person. I use my skincare as my primer, but today it worked out because I did my skincare and then I did my hair, which took me forever. I thought I was gonna have this fabulous hair and this is what it ended up to be. You'll laugh when I show you the footage. Anyway, it took me a while to do my hair today, so the skincare I had all soaked in, and that's when I use a primer, is when I have everything set in and I don't have that slip left to it. So I put this to the test as well. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you out. I dip into fashion a little bit as well, and I haven't been on here in a while because we're in the process of selling our home. So we have been busy getting our house ready for the market, and it took a lot of work, actually. <laughs> we had to fix up a lot that really should have been done a long time ago, but we kind of got used to seeing things as it was, and then when you look at it from another person's viewpoint, you think, oh my goodness, I can't show that, I can't show that. So there were a lot of little things that needed to get fixed up before we could put it on the market, which meant that I had to take a little break from here and focus on the house. And I still have to focus on the house because we are in the middle of showing it. We're getting a lot of showing, so that's a good thing, but I'm just really praying that it's gonna sell fast so that I can get back to work. My goal is to build a community of loving, kind, supportive women who are all aging, we're all going through this process together, our skin is changing, our bodies are changing, and we're here to kind of laugh about it and embrace it, whatever that looks like to you, and yeah, just kind of stick together and play with makeup and help ourselves feel good. I'd love it if you stick with me and join the community of beautiful, kind, supportive women. Yeah, I just want this channel to grow, not just for me, but for everybody. I always get sentimental in my intros. <laughs> But it means a lot to me. It really means a lot to me to be the support for anyone that needs me and you to be the support for each other. Yeah, this channel is not just about makeup and beauty. This channel is about loving each other, supporting each other, laughing at ourselves if we need to, not take life so seriously and not take makeup so seriously and just treat this as an art therapy and a safe space to get together for people that love the art of makeup and love the art of hair and love the art of beauty and fashion. I got a package in the mail today. I ordered the new e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I didn't know what color to get. This is the 21 light neutral and this is the 24, no, 25 light neutral. So let's see how it goes. Let me tell you about this. This says that it's a long wearing hydrating liquid foundation that delivers just right medium buildable coverage and a satin finish. I love a satin finish or a skin like finish. I'm not really one for a very dewy look. It says it's a breathable formula that doesn't feel cakey. It's infused with 1% hydrating hibiscus complex plus pomegranate, blueberry, and goji berry extracts. Non comedogenic, won't clog pores. Do any of them clog pores? It's available in 36 shades for a wide range of skin tone it says it's good for dry oily or combination skin so on this side I'm gonna put the lighter of the two I'll put 21 this is gonna be another quick video because I have another showing if you don't know already I'm selling my house and it is interrupting my life but it's all for the good so I'm not gonna complain uh oh this looks very yellow this is a neutral oh Hold on a minute. That's an interesting formula. Hold on a minute. Is that gonna work? Hmm, that might work. To me, it looks peachy. Is my light too bright? Let me see. I feel like that might be better. Yeah, in my lighting, this looks quite peachy in my mirror, but in the monitor, it looks more of a neutral. It's hard because the window here is, it's weird in here. In the new house, I'm gonna have more options for natural lighting. So this is number 25. Hmm, okay, this to me looks more neutral than this one. So I feel like I'm guessing, but I think the 25 is gonna work better. It has a bit of a creamier formula. I don't know if you can see that, that it's not very liquidy. So it's quite rich and thick. Okay, let's see about this side. Already, this feels better. 
Yeah, that's a better match. Okay, so let's go for 25. And I am going to try this Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I did moisturize my skin already, um, but I did my hair afterwards, which is why it's up in a bun. Oh my gosh. I wore it curly yesterday, which means I have to put a lot of product in it. Then I thought I would cheat and curl it today. There was far too much product in it and it looked ridiculous. So now it's up in a bun. I should have known better and just washed it. So the Jelly Pop Dew Primer, it is a uniquely sticky texture primer that helps keep makeup in place and features a refreshing watermelon scent. Let's try it. Yes, it smells like watermelon. I don't mind it. The translucent formula works on all skin tones. Okay, let's put it on this side. Does anyone not like watermelon scent? Should I put it under my eye too? Why not? Oh, that's drying down fairly fast actually. And it feels tacky. I bought a brush too. This is my first e.l.f. brush. I got the liquid blush brush. Oh, it's liquid blush. Oh, oops. You know what? I'm gonna use it for my foundation. I have a feeling that this is gonna be better dragged but stippled a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. I'm playing around with my lighting today. I've been watching videos on how to light and I'm playing, but I feel like it was better before. I'll have to wait to look back and see how it compares to the other one. It's a forever figuring out process. This matches really nice. That looks good. How much did I pay for this? I paid $10 Canadian for this and I order from elf.ca. Do you know what? I wanna use the primer on both sides only because I haven't had skincare on in a while. So I feel like it's not gonna, I don't know. I feel like it's not gonna glide properly without something. So it's either I use this or I have to go in with another primer. A lot of times I don't use a primer because I freshly do my skincare and then apply my makeup. In this case though, it's been sitting on for a while and. I don't think that's giving it a fair shot. I have to practice using less makeup on myself. If I were doing your makeup, I would put such a little amount of foundation on, but when I'm doing it myself, I'm heavy handed, I work fast, and I always blend it in so it doesn't really matter. When I'm editing, I'm like, ugh, that looks like so much, and it's not necessary. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bad hair day. Do I need to? Glue that down. Look at how nice. Get my vein. I'm gonna cheat and just even out my skin tone on my eyes a little bit, even a little bit under here. How am I gonna stick this thing down? I got rid of so much stuff too. I need my nails done. Oh, there we go. I got rid of so many things when I decluttered my house. A lot of hair products that have been sitting there that are good, but I just don't use them. Now I'm wishing I had some of them with this hairstyle. I'm so tempted to put some on my neck. I feel so textured there now compared to here. I think I might. I'm going to put a little bit of this on and I'm gonna mix it with my moisturizer. Just a touch, like a little bit of Emberlease and just take down some of the redness and camouflage the texture. Yeah, see? That looks better and I feel really comfortable with that. Okay, what else do I have to try? This is more about the foundation today because I have to go. I tested out the Huda Beauty the other day and I really liked it. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought, I don't know, I watched a lot of young people use it and a lot of people with more oily combination skin. So I thought for sure this was gonna make my skin look dry and it didn't. It felt so light. It made my makeup stay all day and it definitely didn't look cakey. So I wanna try it again because I'm using my good camera. I have better lighting and I want you to see really close what this looks like. Before I do that though, I am gonna get a little concealer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty concealer. Is this a skin caring concealer too? I keep using this and I forget 
the full name. Some of my favorite concealers are the Fenty, House Labs, Huda Beauty Faux Filter, Hourglass, Vanish. This is called the Wear Even Hydrating Longwear Waterproof Concealer. Really like this one. All right, let's just keep this where I want it the brightest, right in here and right in here. And I'm just gonna push it in with my finger. I had a hard time opening this the other day and I didn't show you how I figured it out. You just have to lift this lid and then turn it around. I tip it over like this, flip it back, and then you've got all this powder on here, but I just kind of tap it back in. And then I take from the sponge because I don't want a lot. This is an old Morphe brush. I have to wash a bunch of my brushes, but that is a messy job too. I have to have clutter a little bit of brushes drying, so I've gotta be careful with my timing when I do that. As I mentioned in the other video, this has a smell, and I think if you're not prepared for it, it kinda can shock you a little bit, but I don't mind the smell. It doesn't bother me. Taking a little bit right here and right there. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I wanna use my Swede Beauty again, and I really like this because it's just a touch dark. Not a lot, but just, well, it is. It's more like a bronzer for me, kind of, but a subtle bronzer, and I really like it like that. It has a radiance to it, so it's not something that I would want all over my face, but on my cheeks, it's really pretty, so I'm gonna show you that. Because I want a little bit more deposit, I'm gonna use my Angie Hot and Flashy. This one is an A507, and the reason this will give me more of a deposit is because it's a bit more dense and not as fluffy versus something like this that's soft and fluffy. This will give less deposit, this will give more deposit. And I'll have more control over this one. So I'm gonna take a little bit and then just tap it in the lid. Yeah. So remember this is setting my makeup there. I didn't put any loose powder there, any Huda, but this will set it. It's so pretty. What color is this again? I think this is light medium, which would make sense for me because that's usually what I am when I self tan. Okay, I'm changing my lighting back. I just feel like I'm so shadowed here and you're not seeing the full picture. Hold on, let's see if that's better. I don't know. Why? Why does it look weird? Okay, let's try it on the other side now. I got a lot here, you see? Oh, okay. Well, I put too much there for sure. Darn, I'm gonna just take my foundation brush and go over that. Oh, that solved it, that was easy. Yeah, because it's got that iridescence to it. I've just gotta really be careful. That I don't mind. I'm gonna go back over those areas with my Huda right there that fixed it all right i'm back we just took the dogs to my mom and dad's place which is about an hour away we had a nice dinner it was so nice to be able to see them i haven't seen them in a while oh my gosh this monitor that i'm looking at right now if you could see what i see i can see every ounce of texture in my face Goodness, it looks very detailed. My pores are huge on this monitor. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard me say this, that nobody's looking at you that close. So when you're analyzing yourself in a 10 times mirror, just remember that's not reality, but this monitor makes me look at myself really close. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to change the setting. Besides all the texture that I'm seeing on my monitor, let's take a good look here. I think my skin looks really good. like really good. The only thing I'm noticing is that I am shiny in here and 
Um, yeah, it's really in here that it bothers me. There's no settling into any creases. And apparently I have a lot of them because I can see them. My room is so echoey now because I got rid of a lot of stuff and now I feel like I need something for the sound to bounce off of. This should be interesting when I go to edit this. Oh, I should mention that I reapplied my lipstick and I do wanna tell you what that is. It's really comfortable, like goes on kind of like a gloss, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like a really nice creamy lipstick. Like it doesn't stay through eating, but it stays a long time. It feels kind of like I have a lip balm on. Yeah, I really like it. Am I going to be able to read it? No, I'm not gonna be able to read it. I I'll figure it out and I'll put it up. Oh, I don't know why I tried. So I'm gonna touch up with my Huda Beauty mini bake, baby bake. It's a good thing my husband let me know that we had to go and that he was on his way because everything was scattered all over the place. So I didn't put anything back in its place. I'm gonna have to find it. That'll be my job tomorrow. We have another showing again tomorrow and I'm grateful. I don't wanna complain. I'm glad that we're getting lots of showings. So I'm gonna take my powder puff. I just got this off of Amazon. I just dipped it into here and then I'm pressing it on the back of my hand. So you really can't see a whole lot. And I just wanna press right in there. That is where I would have to touch up anyway. Oh, a fleck, get off. What do we think? If I really wanted to touch this up, say I went to work and I wanted to go out for the evening, that's about all I would have had to have done. And then I would probably just bring a little bit of concealer with me just to make myself look a little bit more awake. My husband is watching the hockey game and I would really love to do a live right now. I don't know if anyone would be on because I'd love to go through some of my makeup and I really want to do that with you. That one darn freckle. I just a little red right here. That's where I would touch up, even in my nose. <laughs> I have all those broken capillaries in there and they're distracting. I could even just go, I'm going a little crazy now and I don't need to. Just a little bit there. Yeah, just gonna put a little bit more in there. I am so happy with this foundation. It feels wonderful. I'm really happy with this too. I'm not a big primer person, but it felt really nice and it did stay. So if you have skin like me, normal to dry, I think you would really like this. Again, I am in the color 25 Light Neutral. It looks like they have a good color range and it's not that expensive. So even if you buy a couple and one doesn't work, you're not out $40, $70 for a foundation that doesn't work for you. The packaging is really pretty and it's great for travel. I know the glass bottles are beautiful, but they're not always convenient. So bottom line, would I recommend the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation? Yes, I would. I would recommend it. The only people I think that may not like this is if you don't like a creamy feel on your face, but it doesn't stay creamy. It doesn't stay, it doesn't stay feeling thick, but if you like a thinner consistency, you're not gonna like this. But if you're like me and you have a normal to dry skin and you don't mind something that feels a little bit more creamy, a little bit more hydrating, then I think you're gonna really like this. As always, all the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links if you use them. Thank you so much. It does provide me with a small commission. And if you don't use them, that's okay. I'm just so grateful that you're here. If you did like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love to get to know you and let me know if you've tried this before. I hope this helps and I will see you in my next video. Bye.